So I'm heading up to Grisley Ridge. Um, it's a bit of a grey, overcast, windy day. Um, I wanted to get out scrambling and this ridge is protected or fairly well protected in a southwesterly. Um, and because there's no real exposed sections on the ridge, uh, it's a perfect one to do when the weather's not um, particularly great. Uh, although the sun has just come out, so fingers crossed. <laughs> approach to this ridge um, that I've chosen anyway today starts off down at the Olgi Cottage somewhere behind me. Fairly easy going for the first five minutes or so but then you get to the steps that take you up towards Ken Bochloy, which never seem to end. So it's kind of straight into it, but it's the quickest way to the start of the ridge uh, and only takes about 20 minutes or so. As you get to the top of the steps, the path forks, either right or taking you left. Now that's Bristley Ridge over there. So we want to take the left hand path which follows the stream up to the lake above us. ridge, uh, the route along the ridge, it kind of takes us in between a few pinnacles and there's a few little down climbs and gullies we have to climb back up. Um, so it's, it's usually quite sheltered um, with the wind direction today it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm sure we can't wind at the top down. So we'll see how we get. of the ridge now. Um, so up ahead of me there are a couple of gullies that I could go up. Now the best one to, is this one here on the left and if you can see at the bottom there there's actually a little stone wall that runs across the gully that we have to cross over and make our way up. Now the right hand gully um, that's just around the corner here looks very obvious if you're coming over from Trovan but actually the top section of that gully is extremely li um, and there is a chalk stone kind of halfway up which once you're over that stone uh, you kind of have to keep going and it's not a particularly nice top out with all the loose earth and scree at the top. So best way to the top, head up the one on the left hand side. The first section of the ridge here is the steepest where we climb up this gully over the big overhanging rock here. Um, so you kind of stay in the gully up above this band of quartz, once you get to the top, cut out left, and then onto the main part of the ridge. 
So let's see how we go. Ridge broadens off slightly. Um, route finding is a little bit trickier here, but essentially you're kind of sticking to the highest point of the ridge all the way up. Um, so yeah, we're on the broader part of the ridge, but it gets a little bit narrower up ahead. We have got a couple of pinnacles to navigate go over, up and around. So, 
made it up the ridge, um, then walked across the plateau of the Divar, and now I'm nestled in to Casa de Gwent for a bite to eat and a hot drink, and then I'll probably head down to Gribbin. Um, I'll see if I can get some more videos and possibly some more drone shots of that, but it is getting very, very windy now. Um, so we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so I'm in this little cave at the bottom of Castetic Wind, which is always super sheltered from pretty much any wind direction. Um, so it's, yeah, go-to spot. And there we go. Water's boiled, so I'm going to have some food. Whew. up Bristly Ridge, across Bloodhead Vach, and then down a Gribbin to finish it off. So, Bristly Ridge is Grade 1, uh, a Gribbin is Grade 1, Bristly Ridge is probably the upper end of the range, whereas a Gribbin, very, very easy scrambling. Um, but yeah, both of them Grade 1, so super easy. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Yeah, see you next time.